Messiah has come. Why would the angels come to shepherds? Well, um, one, one of the ways to think about it, not the only way, but one of the ways is that um, in the old days in Western culture, you, you hear people talk about knowing the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. Well, I think a shepherd in, in this culture would have fit into that as well, being that you have a person who handles the animals that are, are needed for sustenance and, and clothing and things like that. Then also, uh, sheep were a unique part of how Israel would worship the Lord. And so naturally, you're going to want to know a shepherd. And a lot of people would know shepherds, maybe even have shepherds in their, their families. appear to the shepherds and it's first you get one angel and uh, that angel has to say what many angels have to say when they appear before people don't be afraid because angels freak people out and you get this one guy and he says don't be afraid I'm bringing glad tidings good news and great joy that Christ is going to be born and he says in the sign that you're going to know that what I'm saying is true is that you're going to find this baby in swaddling clothes right and then suddenly this throng of angels appears this this just this, it really, it's an army of angels. If you want to get literal about how they're described, they're an army of angels. And that's really the word that's used to describe them. But the army is, is sent by God to become a choir. And when the army turns into a choir and declares peace, you know that God is saying, I'm sending the Christ into the world on a peace mission. And the shepherds are deployed to go tell the news to everybody. And you know the shepherd has a friend or maybe a relative, so the news would carry a bit more weight. men or, or people who would have known lots and lots of people so the news would matriculate all that much quicker these are glad tidings of great joy the army is on a peace mission the army is here to bring joy and that's great news